Charming to the last. You don't know how hard I found it signing the order to terminate your life. I'm surprised you had the courage to take the responsibility yourself. Princess Lear, before your execution, I would like you to be my guest at a ceremony that will make this battle station operational. No star system will dare oppose the Emperor now. Not after we demonstrate the power of this station. In a way, you have determined the choice of the planet that will be destroyed first. Since you are reluctant to provide us with the location of the rebel base, I have chosen to test this station's destructive power on your home planet of Alderaan. No, Alderaan is peaceful. We have no weapons. You can't. You will possibly... prefer another target, a military target. Then name the system. I grow tired of asking this, so it'll be the last time. Where is the rebel base? But how can that slip of a girl defy you? It's ludicrous. But you've broken hardened, resolute men with relative ease. I think you're too easy with her, Vader. Put aside your mind drugs and tell her suggestions. There are old methods, tried and true ways of making a captive speak. Phantom pain is something against which she can defend herself. But against the real thing, her resistance will collapse. I think not. And what of it? She must be disposed of in time anyway. Well, you haven't much time, Lord Vader. With the Death Star completed, I must take vigorous action against the rebels as soon as possible. The Emperor expects great things of this battle station, and of me. I think it is time we demonstrated the full power of this station. You may fire when ready. Evacuate. In our moment of triumph, I think you overestimate their chances. Make it so they have nothing left on that planet. No possessions? No religion? It's easy if you try, Dick. Dismissed. Oh, and don't forget, we have like five more meetings in the next 24 hours. You may admire when ready. It's when things do not go as planned that concerns me. What then? It's when things don't go as planned that we Jedi are at our best. Trust me. I deserve my trust for those who take action, General Skywalker. You don't have to tell me any more, Commander Tano. I don't? No. There are recorders in every room. Curiously, the sound isn't working on this one. It seems the Jedi she was afraid of was you. I did not kill that woman. You were the only one there. I know that you were upset when this woman was taken into custody by the military. Uh, that means nothing. I beg to differ. It was someone else, Admiral. Someone I didn't see. You know that is very difficult for me to believe. This is a secure facility. We do not have just anyone running about. And if there was someone else, why did you not sense them? Cells, factions, tribes, call them what you will. They lack the one thing that would make them a credible threat to the Empire. Unity. While your cell seems uninterested in violence, it does present a specific threat. The Jedi. Oh, I doubt that very much. But I am not concerned with his skills as a warrior. I am concerned with what he represents. Or perhaps I should say, I am concerned by what you allow him to represent by failing to stop him. Hope. There are whispers of this alleged Jedi in the streets. In time, such whispers might spark belief in something other than the strength and security of the Empire. And that, gentlemen, is something I cannot have. And your Would days are numbered, buddy. Of trouble. Enough. This bickering is pointless. We already have men in the area, delivering fruit, apparently. It can't hurt to ask around. Yes. Princess Leia, before your execution, I would like you to be my first guest at a ceremony that will make this battle station fully operational. No star system will dare oppose the Emperor now. You may fire when ready.
Most unfortunate about the security breach on Jeddah, Director Krennic. After so many setbacks and delays, and now this. We've heard word of rumors circulating through the city. Apparently, you've lost a rather talkative cargo pilot. If the Senate gets wind of our project, countless systems will flock to the Rebellion. When has become now, Director Krennic, the Emperor will tolerate no further delay. You have made time an ally of the Rebellion. I suggest we solve both problems simultaneously with an immediate test of the weapon. Failure will find you explaining why to a far less patient audience. Welcome to the galaxy's first Heroes vs. Villains dueling tournament. However, this is no ordinary tournament. Our heroes and villains selected to duel shall have the fate of the galaxy placed upon them as their wits and weapons collide against each other. This is Grand Moff Tarkin, and I shall be your host. It is with great honor to announce the villains selected to be chosen for the duel here today, but also with distasteful regard for the heroes that are also joining us today. What the United States of America needs is a leader. Someone who was once the learner and is now the master. Vader discourages the disintegrations of the jobs that families need and has no lack of faith in U.S. citizens. Vader has a plan to skip the pleasantries and to get us back on schedule. He has a plan for the galaxy and has proven to be more forgiving than the Emperor. Most unfortunate about the security breach on Jeddah, Director Krennic. After so many setbacks and delays, and now this. We've heard word of rumors circulating through the city. Apparently, you've lost a rather talkative cargo pilot. If the Senate gets wind of our project, countless systems will flock to the Rebellion. When has become now, Director Krennic, the Emperor will tolerate no further delay. You have made time an ally of the Rebellion. I suggest we solve both problems simultaneously with an immediate test of the weapon. Failure will find you explaining why to a far less patient audience. 